Here is my experience with Geek and Gorgeous A Game 10 and why is it suspiciously super gentle? Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and let's jump quickly to the video. Uh, this video will revolve around the, my experience with Geek and Gorgeous uh, A Game 10 which is based on 0.1% retinaldehyde or retinal and some soothing ingredients. I will speak about my experience. I've been using it for more than one month after I receiving it after I received it as a part of a PR. First, I will talk about the formula. The formula, like I said, is an emollient, silky, uh, very light. Uh, the website describe it as very light. I, I think it is rich enough. It's not very heavy. It's not very light. It gives a very nice feeling and silky feeling to the skin. It absorbs very nice. No residue, no stickiness, no other type of undesirable sensorial effects. I would say and uh, it is based like i said on 0.1 percent there is another version that is called uh, a game 5 that is based on 0.05 percent retinaldehyde uh, i would send this version and i've been trying it for more than a month first i want to say that my skin is very acclimated to retinoids i've been using retinoids for more than 10 years and specifically prescription retinoid uh, retinoin or retin a 0.05 and i've seen amazing result and i think my skin plateaued I wouldn't see any extra benefit from using different type of retinoids. So that's, I'm being honest with you. I will talk about the experience and some suspicions about why is it being super, super gentle. So I've been trying it for more than uh, a month and I haven't, like I said, I haven't noticed any type of side effects. I have to say that using retinoids uh, most of the time doesn't give me any type of side effects, even prescription, because like I said, I've been using it for a long time, but there are some retinoids that I've, been, I've tested before that can push my barrier to the limit. Uh, I don't have barrier disruption, I would say. I would feel that my skin is saying enough, uh, some type of very mild drying, some type of redness, some types of very, very mild irritation that I notice. And I notice it super fast because, like I said, my skin is very resilient to actives and I don't usually see barrier related issues. So that's out of the way. I haven't noticed anything. But I've been lucky enough to have a friend who had never tried retinoids before and he tried it for the first time for a few days and there was no side effect, which makes me a little bit suspicious. There are two options for this. One, they formulated the best gentlest type of formula and uh, it is quite successful and you have very very mild side effect to no side effects and my friend's skin is very very dry and his barrier is very i would say disrupted because if he applied other product that are generally like a toner that is based on peptide and uh, uh, hyaluronic acid and humectant he would feel a burn but with this he didn't feel any burn or anything or nothing that says this product contains something that is potent, which is retinaldehyde. Uh, I wouldn't say, I'm not saying that having side effect means the product is working, but it is expected. And especially for first time users, for me, I, um, let's say, put that fact to the side because I've been using it like for a long time. The second option is that the retinaldehyde in here is not effective or it is oxidized or it's not stabilized. Of course, that is in my opinion, and uh, it is a possibility because retinaldehyde is a quite a finicky ingredient. It is next to next step of conversion of retinol to the active form of retinoic acid. So we have retinol, we have uh, a um, reversible oxidation from retinol to retinaldehyde, and then uh, unreversible uh, oxidation from retinaldehyde to retinoic acid, which is the active uh, molecule. Retinaldehyde is supposedly less irritating but i believe it would be more irritating because uh, uh, this conversion step uh, one the special especially from the one from retinol to retinaldehyde is uh, what we call and i explained this very uh, briefly in another video uh, talking about that why you should switch to retinol because the reaction from retinol to retinaldehyde is self-limiting and is very depending on the enzyme. So what I mean by self-limiting uh, is that the uh, speed of this reaction from retinol to retinaldehyde can define how fast you will see result and how fast uh, you will see retinoic acid concentration in your skin elevating after application. 
because we have different type of people with different type of skins. Some are fast metabolizers, some are slow. So using those uh, multiple steps of conversion can work in a buffer way. So you won't see a lot of, uh, let's say, irritation. Some other studies say that those conversion are causing those side effects, but I believe to the previous uh, theory that or hypothesis that the actual uh, retinoic acid concentration being elevated and activating the nuclear receptor in your skin is what is giving the side effect. That's what I believe and that's what I understand from the uh, literature that I read. So the, we have two options. One is that they nail the formula that is super perfect, super gentle, that it doesn't give any type of side effect to even very, very beginner users. And like I said on my friend, it's a very anecdotal evidence, but I'm just sharing the story to let you know. And the other one is that it's not very stabilized uh, ingredient in this formula specifically. And there is very, or lower than 0.1% retinaldehyde and the effects is less and by that the side effects or the undesirable effect are less i like i said i've been using it for a month the uh, now let's talk about the texture of the product i don't know if you can see it it's a very yellow it's very yellow which means that there is retinol to high in the in the formula uh, it, it's be careful it stains a little bit if you are uh, applying it to and going to your bed to your uh, uh, sheets or ever or whatever type of thing that will touch your face it 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 doesn't show but it's on your skin and when you rub your face on a type of any like a napkin or your uh, pillowcase or sheets they will get yellow super fast and uh, that's uh, the uh, the thing that you have to pay attention for so what is my experience it is uh, or the final verdict i would say it is less than 90 euros it is available in the EU. You can ship it everywhere and have the option for international uh, shipping. Uh, it's affordable. If you want a retinoid that is super gentle, you can try it. Results, I cannot help you with that because, like I said, my skin plateaued with prescription retinoids. I wouldn't see any other effects. The, for, the formula is nice. Uh, it contains quite a, a number of soothing ingredients. I can check really quickly what type of ingredients they have used. I will put it here. So, uh, the like I said, the main ingredients that I are highlighting on the website are retinol 0.1 or 0.05, depending on the product that you choose. We have uh, A-game 10 and A-game 5. Uh, the next uh, ingredient, they have a lot of soothing ingredients. They have allantoin. Panthenol. Allantoin is a quite an amazing soothing ingredient. It hydrates the skin. It has some humumectin properties. It helps the barrier to stay intact. Panthenol is the uh, pro uh, ingredient of uh, vitamin B5, pantonic acid. Uh, it's uh, the, in the form of alcohol, pantenol, and I don't know the concentration they don't mention. And they have, it is called biosaccharide gum one, which is a chain of uh, sugars that also play a humectant role and I give a very nice silky texture to the formula and to your skin after application and it's supposed to help with soothing and anti-irritation properties so the formula is nice there are soothing ingredients the yellow color can help us say okay there is there is a retinol but like I said my friend tried it for almost a week or two weeks with zero effect the second thing that made me very, very, very uh, suspicious of how gentle it is, is that the same friend, I put him on retinol uh, 0 0.3 from L'Oreal, the serum. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's the well-known, the blue one, the Revitalift, if I'm not mistaken, 0 0.3 retinol. And in a few days, he started to see the very well-known uh, side effect or undesirable effect of this uh, of retinoids in general the peeling drier skin uh, a little bit of irritation here and there and i was like i starting to suspect that this product is more of the second option which is the retinol maybe not high enough or the retinol is not very well stabilized i don't know 
the answer and i've seen again i've seen a lot of stories and dms from you guys that we tried it we didn't feel anything i've seen a lot of reddit stories and uh, experiences that say the same thing we tried it nothing happened so i don't know my final verdict is as follows it's affordable you can try it out if you're scared of retinoids and you want something that is super gentle i don't know if it will work or not and if you want a very like i said very nice uh, texture that is uh, very emollient packed with uh, soothing ingredients and that can possibly help you on the long term but with the result i can tell you because like i said my skin is very resilient to retinoids and I showed you the story of my friend that he used it for two weeks or almost three weeks, then stopped for a while. And then I introduced him to a retinol based product from L'Oreal and he started to see kind of a result plus some undesirable, undesirable effect that there is some retinol doing the work and there is something that is, uh, let's say, irritating the skin a little bit at the beginning. So. Here is my final thought. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have any more questions, please let me know in the comments and I would be happy to answer them. And as always, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.